It was about 1 a.m. While I was sleeping, I was in the fire. Four months, I was in a coma. I remember screaming to the nurses, what happened to my legs and my arms? I started documenting my journey because I feel like I want to show people that you could be confident and sexy no matter what you look like. So I do workout video Monday to Friday every day. So tune in on TikTok. My life before was great. Um, I was a sales associate at Macy's for six years. Before the accident, I was with my boyfriend um, just hanging out and I decided to go home that night. I, while I was sleeping, I was in the fire. I don't remember much, I just felt, I remember when someone was pulling me out. Can you figure out what caused it or? No, still on the investigation. There's nothing they could tell me. Four months I was in a coma. My body was burned 90%. I had an um, infection in my legs and arms, so they had to amputate. I remember screaming to the nurses, what happened to my legs and my arms? They was telling me, it would, they will try to comfort me and tell me it's okay, it's okay. okay. I met my boyfriend three years ago. We met on Tinder. He said to me, if, um, if someone ever asks me how we met, it's because we was rescuing a puppy. Oh my God. <laughs> Steven's been there for me from day one. I was with Sasha uh, before the fire. I had been with her for about nine months prior to the accident. She left my house, I think it was like a Wednesday, a Wednesday night. I tried contacting her and she wasn't answering. So I went to her building and I went to the front desk and they were like, nah, like you can't go up there. And I was like, I was like check the hospitals. He's like, something went down like Thursday like morning. I then um, Googled her apartment complex and it popped uh, an article popped up that there was a fire wednesday night at 1 a.m and that 62 people were displaced and one woman was rushed to the hospital with uh critical burns that were life-threatening so that's how i figured out from the article so i knew that was her so it was four months of her being in the coma and then i think like a day or two after she had been like woken up out of it, she was asking for me. The shock part that I had was more, not her amp amputations, but her like uh, pigmentation was like, was like almost like real pale uh, skin. And then just right into it, just to be there for her, make her laugh and be positive. I was in the hospital for almost a year. This one is my most biggest video. It have 13 million people viewed it. It was just put on my, he just put on my legs and I did a little walk. That's all. And it went viral because of the music, I guess. No, it's because of you. <laughs> so I do workout video Monday to Friday, every day. So tune in on TikTok. I get a lot of good reactions from different people all over the world saying that I'm inspiring, they're amputee too, they haven't walked before, they ask me what kind of prosthetics I have. These are like, these ones are made for walking. These ones are like train you how to walk. So these are called stubbies and these are called prostheses. The color, I, every time when my, prosthes, my prosthesis came to see me, mm -hmm. they have a thing in um, Spalding called Friday, mm -hmm. Friday. So oh, they know. choose, they choose the color, okay. the tie-dye color. Mm -hmm. This one, I told them I wanted pink and they gave me this one, but I still like it. Yeah. It glows in the sun. I started to get more comfortable with myself and my body, and I wanted to see myself walk in my prosthetics. Be careful, honey. I know, it's a lot of salt. Don't do it in the She's a fighter.
I hope in my story it inspires people to like never give up on their dream or in life, period. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Done? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good walk. Yeah. <laughs> what I love most about Sasha is that she makes me laugh and uh, she's always positive like I am as well and just has like a good spirit and I think she's just inspirational. It just like makes me feel even more like proud to be like with her. The past year taught me about myself that I'm strong. I think everything is looking up for me so far. I want to tell people they're not alone. They could be happy even if they're a burnt survivor.